Hi everyone! So today we are actually going over to Puppy's house to set up my home studio. So let's go see what she needs to do in her home for her own dressing. And we're going to go ahead and drop this ball open. And now I'm going over to their place. Hello! Whoa, well, oh, nice place! Oh, Where's you. your whole room going to be? Uh, it's going to be right here. Yay! Wow, amazing! <laughs> so the mirrors are already up. We've got all of the stuff here already. We've done some it. Oh, the tools are ready. Okay, so everyone, this is Kahui and this is Nick. So this is your brand new beautiful home and this is going to be Kahui's personal pole dancing room. <laughs> and Nick's going to try to make up, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is, um, actually Kahui, do you want to tell everyone why pole dance or what kind of pole dance do you do you do? Is it competitive? Is it casual? Is it more of a workout? And you know, what kind of music do you dance to? I thought that pole dancing was people as a hobby because I wanted something like um, that's fun and at the same time it's still giving you a very good workout and uh, doing something better than the gym, going to the gym. Okay. Yeah, so that, that's how I started my whole pole dancing journey. And yeah, 40 years later, I'm still doing this. Oh, yeah. Eight years? <laughs> yeah, eight years. Wow, okay, yes, and Nick has been doing it for one year. <laughs> so why we have Kelvin and Nick, especially Nick here, is because Nick is going to be the one to show everyone how he's going to do the installation. So I'm going to ask Kelvin why exactly she actually needs a dance mat in her room where she already has her vineyard house all perfectly laid out. So why is there a need for a dance mat anyway? Kahui, do you want to tell everyone why? Um, I wanted a dance mat because it was uh, in this order to protect the boy because the uh, final boys are very sensitive and we don't really want to have like holes from the pole insulation and also with the pole heels which can be quite sharp <laughs> <laughs> so it's more of like functioning to protect the ball and also myself from like because uh, sometimes I will move ball and some like forward friction on my knees, so it's more like preventing abrasions. Yeah, so preventing abrasions definitely important, right? But I think it's also good once you do up the floor because then it also means that if you want to work out together, you can still work out together on <laughs> on the floor, right? You don't actually need an extra mat. There are only a couple of things they need to do this for yourself. So you need a ruler, a pencil, and a sharp pen. Nicholas is doing now is that they are actually just using a ruler with a pen knife. They're going to mark up their points and they're making sure that they're cutting a straight line using a backing at the bottom just in case it cuts the actual net. So as you can already see, this side is already done. So now we're left with cutting over this side. And then later there will be an additional panel over on this side. So as you can see, the dance mats are actually manufactured um, in a fixed width for this particular one in 2 meters. So this over here is actually 2 meters, and over here is a slightly smaller width. And usually for flooring, uh, when you're doing it yourself, you do give a little bit of extra. Like for example, this width is a little bit more. So that in case you need to trim it a little bit or make some mistakes, no problem, you still have some to put it. So this is the tape later that we'll be using to tape down. These are some of the laminates, the scraps. So we we'll definitely suggest to just try and cut a couple of pieces just to get used to cutting the dance mat. So you can just keep cutting until you're used to it on all of the scrap pieces. So the one thing you're, you know, you 
the good thing that's happening here is we're making sure that the nets at the sides are rounded. It's not completely squished in the flat, just because we don't want to create any creases in the dance mat. And so cutting is essential with a ruler because you will really want to make sure that the ruler is there to guide you on a straight line. So you can see the cuts here are pretty straight. So that's a very, very good thing. One thing you want to bear in mind when you're doing your corners is that you really want to make sure that you fit it directly into all of these corners right here and make sure to do a very clean cut so that it sits really nicely and it won't create any gaps. So it sits really nicely. So it's a good thing to vacuum before we start building the glass wall. So you want to do the dark floor because you really want to push all of the air bubbles out of the mat and to make sure it's as flat as possible. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> to make sure that it's as flat as possible and that it doesn't have all of these bulges that can happen. You want to make sure that you really, really flatten everything out and this could be a good couple activity. Look at that. So Kahui is measuring how much to cut out from here now. So that it would sit nicely. So one of the questions we get asked quite a lot is how do you clean the dance mats? Because especially during this time, during the COVID period, we want to make sure that our dance mats are sanitized and are clean. So I'm just going to tell you that actually it's actually pretty simple. What you can do is you can actually still use a regular floor cleaning detergents, but, but, but don't use those that says whiten the floor, bleach the floor and things like that. So feel free to go ahead if you want to use isopropyl alcohol to just sanitize the whole area or any of those sprays that you want, go ahead to do that. But if not, we are thinking of coming out with our own range of floor cleaners so that you can use for your video or money dance net. This is actually the top of it. I'll show you the seams. So later we need to do one more time on the dark walk to look the seams, but from here you can actually see that there is a seam. But from far away, you don't really see it. Um, I'll show you the angle. So from here you also don't actually really see the seams. So it does look like a very seamless um, way to do an entire farm with foggy light and to do the job to the book then. Especially Nick. Well done. Okay, now Nick, you try. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm not scared. <laughs> Oh, I <laughs> 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 
Okay, so final things before we start on the installation. Do you guys have any questions about the flooring, the Mali dance mats, the vinyl mats, and any at all? Um, yes, because you can see we have a very good mirror, big window behind, and we have actually direct sun in the morning. So, wondering if uh, prolonged sun exposure would it cause any peeling of the mat? Right, right. That's a good question actually. So, Kami's question was really whether or not the direct sun from the window will come in and it will it kill the mat, will it peel the mat? And the answer is no, it wouldn't because there is actually a UV protection layer on all of our money mats and you can actually use it indoors and outdoors but for outdoor venues we usually say okay try to keep it um, in once you have finished using it but for indoor venues completely no problem at all so even if it rains like the windows open and it rains and if it just you know wets the money mat no problem mm -hmm. all good sounds great yeah, yeah. i have another question how yes. big is it because i'm concerned that it will block quite the walls from opening and closing Okay, good question. So Nick, you're concerned that uh, the your door won't be able to open properly because the we are actually laying the money mats directly on the current floor and it may affect you know the movement of the doors. That's a very good question actually to consider because a lot of the time the doors open inwards towards the room and some doors open outwards, which is usually what I prefer. So in this particular room, we actually have the door coming inwards, but the particular mat that Kahui chose, which is the Freedom Dance mat, is only 2mm thick. So we've already checked the height of the gap of the door, and there is no problem with the 2mm dance mat. So anyway, we'll try it, and we'll see how it goes. And this is the final room. But if not, I think well done! Thank you! Oh my gosh, it's so nice. I'm so excited for you to dance. So, and yeah. really, um, I hope that you feel so much joy in this room and that one day Nick will join you to pole as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be waiting. So, thank you. Thank you for being a part of the Free Movement channel as well. And I'll see y'all very, very soon. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Thank you.